your mind power is the biggest asset that you have in this life. No one can tell you what to do with your mind. No one can tell you how to rule your life, but we are under this mask that people are supposed to tell us what to do with our life. Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel, Raising Wellness. Uh, on this channel we talk about gratitude, we talk about health, nutrition, we talk about um, anxiety and depression. If any of those things ring true for you or something that you need help with in your life, then hit that little subscribe button. It's going to be right here in the corner. You just click on it on the screen and it'll subscribe you to my channel. If you want to be alerted for videos every time I bring them out, as this video is a part of my 30 day vlog series, so I'll be coming out with one every single day, then just hit the little teeny bell down there and it'll alert you every time a video comes out. Today I want to talk to you guys about my background and why I have taken on this life and this role as an entrepreneur or fellow boss babe uh, in the world as a 24 year old female. So I actually came from a background of having a lot of money. My family had a lot of money when I was growing up but when 2008 hit the economy crashed and my dad was in the housing industry. And when that happened, we lost everything. Everything went downhill. I was always given, from the time I was about hmm, 10 till, till now, I have always been fed the idea, we don't have enough. We need to save. You should save everything that you have. And so I grew up with that mentality. Puppy, come here. Hi. Hi. Just a little uh, celebrity guest right there. <laughs> so I grew up with the mentality that you always need to save money and you always need to work. Life is about work, paying your bills, and having a little bit of fun. And I just never vibed with that. I, I went gung-ho, I went all in, I worked all the time. In school I worked all of the time. I never ever gave myself a break and it kind of led to this imbalance of not pleasing myself and pleasing others so much that I didn't know how else to act. And I feel like a lot of people come into this idea of being a people pleaser and trying to help everyone else out except for themselves. And that's where I was stuck. And the past few years after being out of college, being in the real world, has really been a game changer for me because I was always given assignments. Uh, you have to excuse the planes right now. <laughs> I was always given assignments. I was always giving something to do. And I never had the chance to actually do something for myself or to even understand what that meant or how to go about doing that. And so I've been exploring entrepreneurship and what life would be like when you are free to create and do whatever you want and create a whole new work environment for yourself. Last year was the worst year I have ever had in my entire 24 years. And I was depressed, I was lethargic, I was working four jobs, I was trying to save all the money I could, and I was very much in that imbalance again. And I, I didn't know how to get out of it. So I made a drastic change and I quit one of my jobs, which I've never done in my life unless I was moving away. And so that was really hard for me. So I quit one of my jobs and that made me feel very, very scared. I, I didn't know if I was gonna have enough money. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I did it. And as soon as I quit that job, I went on a quick vacation to go visit my sister because she had come down to Florida. And uh, during the middle of that, I lost another job because they could no longer pay me. part-time job and then my coaching business as well and it's taken a lot to understand that <laughs> it's taken a lot to understand the value and importance of knowing your own creativity and knowing that 
your mind power is the biggest asset that you have in this life. No one can tell you what to do with your mind. No one can tell you how to rule your life, but we are under this mask that people are supposed to tell us what to do with our life. And a lot of people are scared to branch out onto their own creativity and their own path. But as soon as I quit that one job, I was let go of the other job, it freed up my, my mind space to be able to pursue the things I wanted to. And even though I was scared, even though I didn't know what to do, I let go of that feeling of not feeling like I had enough. That feeling that was drilled into me since I was 10 years old that I needed to save, save, save and work, work, work and that was just life. And so I finally let that go. And when I did, it was like the whole world just opened up. And I am so very grateful to have been in that realm of understanding like that I I really need to let go of that thought process because it was no longer serving me and if you're stuck in that thought process if you're scared if you feel like you're trapped in a job and you're trapped in your life then you need to reevaluate and let go of something whether it's a mindset a habit or a job because it's no longer serving you and if you're not serving you you can't serve the better part of the world and so as soon as I let go of my jobs I was given this opportunity to be a coach and it literally was everything that I had been looking for since I was very very young it gave me the ability to help people it gave me the ability to reach out to people and it gave me a community of other women who are also striving to do the same thing. Not exactly in the same way. We all have a different business that's going on, but we're all looking to help and inspire people like you. And it's funny, as soon as I let go of that mentality, I grabbed onto a new mentality that I have enough. There's money coming to me. And I never held it tightly like I did with the fact that I need to save, save, save. I don't hold that tightly. It doesn't suffocate me, but I just have it as a knowing, as a passing thought that money's coming to me. I am worthy. Things are going to come to me. As long as I keep making actions towards the life and the pursuits and the passions that I have already within me. So take some action. If something's not serving you, drop it. If you need to make a change, do it. If you feel stuck, you have to make a change. Nothing and no one is gonna make that change for you. You are the designer of your life and the motivator of yourself and no one else is going to do that for you. Sure, you can have a job and that job can tell you to do this, this, and this. But if that job's not making you happy, if that job is not firing you up and filling your cup, what purpose does it have in your life? And I know there's some things that are hard, but you just have to decide what kind of shit sandwich do you want to eat? My shit sandwich that I eat every single day is sitting down on my computer and answering messages. But I love, love, love what I do as a coach so I can eat that shit sandwich. Some other people, that's, no. Some people don't want to do that. You just have to decide what it is that you enjoy so much that you will go through the crappy times to have it or do it or be it. And letting go of the mentality that you need to stay where you are to accomplish something that's not serving you anymore is, I think, hard to comprehend, but also ridiculous that we think that we keep doing the same thing that something new is gonna happen or change. You have to be the first one to change to make anything happen. And that is what I've learned from my situation of quitting my three jobs and diving into this coaching business that I have now. And I couldn't be more happy. So if there's anything that you take from this video, I hope it is this. You are the creator of your life. No one else. No one else will do anything anything for you unless you make a change if you take action then your life will be where you want it to be but it starts with you 
thank you guys so much for watching this video if it helped you in any way i would love 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 to hear what you got from this video what your golden nugget was from this video and put it in the comments down below if you want to personally get in touch with me all of my information is down in the description box so feel free to contact me there with email facebook instagram snapchat i'm on all of them um, and i hope to hear from you guys i'm sending you lots and lots of love and remember that you are the creator of your life love you